You can now craft your own legendary armor without any need to step foot in any competitive game modes or organized group content like raids for even a second. The legendary obsidian armor is here. It's now available to craft and you can get this legendary set entirely on your own and in the open world. If you're an open world enjoyer like me, this is a big deal. I've also created a text guide that goes along with this video. It's sort of a sort of a companion guide that you can use on the side for a quick reference. There's a link to that down below. All right, let's break down exactly how to get it step by step. So for each piece of obsidian armor, you'll require four things, a precursor and three different gifts. So let's break down each of the gifts first, and then we'll cover those precursor items. All right, let's start with the gift of mighty or magical prosperity. So this might sound a tad confusing at first, but don't worry. You just need the mighty or magical variant of this gift, depending on which piece of armor you're crafting. So for boots, gloves, and leggings, you'll need the gift of mighty prosperity. And for head, shoulders, and chest, you need the gift of magical prosperity. To keep it simple, if you're crafting a full six-piece set of the obsidian armor, you'll need three of each of these. Each of these gifts requires 50 Provisioner Tokens, 9 Mystic Clovers, a gift of Condensed Might or Magic, depending on which one you're making, and a gift of Research. So the Provisioner Tokens, these are a time-gated currency that you can get each day from Faction Provisioner NPCs, and they'll usually cost you a specific like material or currency or item, uh, and some of these items are cheaper than others. For more info on Provisioner Tokens, I'll have a link in the description for a full guide on those. The Mystic Clovers can be acquired in a few ways. Uh, definitely make sure you grab all of the ones from the Wizard's Vault first. Those will be the best option for you. So you can get up to 20 of them per season from the Wizard's Vault, and that will already give you a big head start. Uh, nine Clovers for each piece means a total of 54 for one full set but you'll also need some extra clovers to unlock some required armor skins, which I'll go over a little bit later in the video. Um, but just for now, just know you need a total of 66 mystic clovers for your first set of obsidian armor. You can get more clovers from uh, various vendors using various currencies each week, or you can just gamble for them in the mystic forge with this recipe. Uh, if you need some more information on Mystic Clovers, take a look at the wiki page. The link for that will be in the description as well. The Gift of Condensed Might just requires a bunch of fangs, bones, claws, and scales. And the Gift of Condensed Magic requires a bunch of uh, blood totems, venom, and dust. So again, you'll need three of each of these for a full six-piece set of the Obsidian Armor. And all of these crafting materials you can get just by general farming in the open world, as well as just purchasing them off the trading post. Finally, the gift of research just requires a few simple things. So the thermocatalytic reagents can just be purchased from most master craftsman vendors for some gold, and the hydrocatalytic reagents uh, from the same vendor for research notes. Since you need two stacks of these, That'll be 2,500 research notes for each piece of obsidian armor. And that is 15,000 notes for all six pieces. And you'll actually need even more than this. Sorry, guys, but you're actually going to need another 6,000 research notes on top of that to unlock some armor skins that are required. I'll go over this in more detail a bit later. But just for now, know that you'll actually need a total of 21,000 research notes for your first set. Uh, so that's quite a lot of research notes and they can be a little bit of a pain to get. So I've got a link in the description for a fantastic guide on research notes by Fandrel. I definitely recommend this guide. He basically goes over a couple of different methods of obtaining research notes. You can either get them easily but expensively or cheap but more steps involved kind of thing. Or somewhere in the middle, which is kind of what I like to do most of the time. And you'll also need a stack of exotic luck. This is fairly simple to obtain over time just by doing your salvaging of stuff. And if you're unaware, you can craft the lower tiers of luck into the higher ones um, at an artificer. Only need level one, so you don't even need to level up the artificing. Moving on to the gift of expertise. So this gift 
is basically just a bit of gold, spirit shards, and a bunch of cryptus essence that you'll get from rift hunting and convergences. So you'll need 12 amalgamated cryptus essences per piece of obsidian armor, which are crafted with all three tiers of the essence as well as some ectoplasm. Uh, make sure you craft these yourself at a crafting station and don't purchase them from Leah because they're more expensive from him. And the Eldritch Scroll is just purchased from a Mystic Forge attendant for 50 spirit shards. The 50 obsidian shards per piece means just 300 of these for a full set. If you need some more obsidian shards, the best way to get them is purchasing them with Karma from a vendor in the Straits of Devastation in Ore. Um, this vendor only shows up once a certain chain of events are completed in the area, so if it's not there, you can either do those events or just come back later. Just don't be tempted to buy obsidian shards from the wizard's vault. They may seem like the quickest and easiest way to get them, but just know that it's essentially the most expensive method of obtaining obsidian shards, just because of how valuable Astral Acclaim is. The cube of stabilized dark energy is crafted at a level 500 crafting station, with one ball of dark energy, which comes from salvaging some ascended items, and 75 stabilizing matrices, which you can get from uh, fractals or salvaging ascended trinkets, or you can just buy these from the trading post. Moving on to the gift of stormy skies. So this gift is essentially just a bunch of map completion and doing the new Soto uh, meta events and stuff like that. The gift of the astral ward consists of an item that you get from completing each Secrets of the Obscure map. Currently the final map in Aeneos isn't fully released yet, so you can get the one for this map in a couple of other ways. Uh, like the other Secrets of the Obscure maps, you can get it by illuminating all of the lanterns that are scattered around the map, and you can also get it by completing story achievements from the new Realm of Dream story, or by doing a bunch of map-related achievements. The Gift of Persistence is just purchased from Leah for a stack of each map's small currency, so the Static Charges, Pinches of Stardust, and Calcified Gasps, as well as a stack of Unusual Coins as well. The Unusual Coins, you just get these from opening those greater and lesser arcane chests around the new maps, as well as doing those little Shrine Guardian things where there's like a, an invisible chest that can be revealed by completing a small puzzle or something like that, usually, you know, just picking up a box and placing it somewhere or hitting something, it's usually very simple. And then you just need five of the big currency of each Secrets of the Obscure map. So these are the Case of Captured Lightning, Pouches of Stardust, and Clot of Congealed Screams. Again, this is for just a single piece of armor here, so for the full set, you will need six stacks of each small currency and unusual coins. 30 of each of the big currency, as well as 6 gifts of each map, which will see you doing uh, a handful of map completions and lantern lightings, or you could just do the map completions if you wanted and have enough characters, and with the one from Inner Naos, you have the option of those achievements as well that I mentioned to mix things up a little bit. And the fourth and final ingredient to craft your obsidian armor is an item that is essentially a precursor. It's not a real piece of armor that like can be equipped like most legendaries have, but it's uh, just basically an item that acts as a precursor. So there are six different precursor items, one for each piece of armor, all of which are purchased from Leah for one lesser vision crystal each. You do have to complete some achievements before you can buy them, and these achievements do require a bit of an investment to complete, but once they are done, you do not have to do them again if you were to craft another weight of obsidian armor at least. So you only need to do these achievements once for your first set. They involve killing a certain boss, which is nice and easy, as well as collecting three sets of armor skins. The first set, which is the Rift Hunter set, that is unlocked just by doing some of the Secrets of the Obscure story, and the other two sets, which are the Astral Ward and the Oneros Spun sets, are purchased from Leah. And these other two sets of armor are, are the more expensive ones. So each piece of these two armor sets will cost you a purified Cryptus Essence, which will require all three tiers of Essence, some Ectoplasm, and a Mystic Clover. An assorted gift of crafting materials, which require a little bit of 
each tier of that crafting material, some of the big map currency, as well as 500 research notes. So this is all stuff that you need a lot of to craft the actual legendary armor anyway. Um, so just make like a mental note that a little bit more is needed to unlock these armor skins as well. You don't need to buy all of the weights, by the way. You just, just buy six pieces of one weight set and it'll automatically unlock the skins of the other two weights as well. So for example, if you unlock the heavy set, light and medium will also automatically unlock. And as I mentioned before, if you're crafting multiple sets of the obsidian armor, you will only need to do this part once. So technically your subsequent sets are actually cheaper than your first one, which is pretty cool. And all of the bosses that you have to kill for these achievements, you're pretty likely to just accidentally kill these as you're going through the content in the Secrets of the Obscure maps uh, on your way to getting everything else. So I probably wouldn't even worry about them. If you have gotten everything else done and you don't have that boss killed up to this point, just take a look at the achievement on the wiki and it'll show you who you need to kill. Alright, we are very close to the end now. Now you know exactly how to get each of the four major ingredients for a piece of obsidian armor. All we need to do now is craft it. Unlike other legendaries, this one is actually crafted not in the Mystic Forge, but at a crafting station. And it actually has to be at the legendary armor station next to Leah. I think that looks like a forge behind me here. Or just any of the other crafting stations in the Wizard's Tower map. It has to be in the Wizard's Tower map. Uh, you'll need to buy the legendary obsidian armor recipe from Lear as well, which does require you to train all of the masteries in the astral ward category. But again, I'd be very surprised if you don't get this done pretty passively on your journey up to this point. Then you just need to craft it with a level 500 armor smith, leather worker, or tailor, depending on the armor weight. And that's it. And um, that's everything that you need to know to craft your very own set of legendary obsidian armor. Remember that text guide which serves as a handy companion to this video guide? You can use that as a quick reference if you ever forget something and it's uh, fully interactable. So it has like collapsible headings and stuff like that and it's full of embedded links that take you to pages on the wiki if you ever need more information. So check that out, link is in the description as well as the pinned comment. Same goes for all of the resources I mentioned in the video or anything else that I thought might be helpful, it's all down there. All right, thanks so much for watching right to the end. I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. And uh, yeah, ask me any of your questions down below. Take it easy, gamers.